while higher food prices are great for farmers and exporters, household budgets for many low-income families are really stretched thin these days. That's especially the case in the UK, where the economy is struggling to gain steadier footing. Richard Bestick has more. Even here in the picture postcard town of affluent Salisbury in southern Britain, it's difficult to escape a nagging and pervasive poverty. Five years of austerity in the UK has given rise to an ominous new economic indicator, the food bank. Half a million people here in one of the world's ten richest countries now depend on handouts, according to the Trussell Trust, a Christian charity with a network of 400 food banks. There are more people in this country who are living in a precarious way and food banks are picking up uh, the pieces more often than any of us would like. Food banks distribute food free of charge to people referred to them by government and social agencies. Help for those like Vicky Charles, a single mum. It makes the difference between having a meal that you're looking forward to eating and a meal that's just filling a hole in your stomach. Explain the Wonga.com slide. Another measure of deprivation, payday loans. A big and controversial business in Britain, loan companies charging interest rates of up to nearly 6,000% for those in desperate need of quick cash. The poorest in Britain appear to be suffering the harshest consequences of the austerity years. GDP in this country is actually still 2% less than it was in 2008. Something's got to give. And in many cases, those are people's living standards. Clearly, nobody's starving in Britain, but the rise of the food bank has triggered a political debate here. The opposition party's talking about a cost of living crisis. The government warning of another two years of austerity. Another the need for food banks in Britain, then, not over yet, posing difficult questions for Britain's welfare state and the safety net it's intended to provide. Richard Bestick, CCTV, London.